Hey, New Hope. This is Pastor Brian. I hope you're having a good day. I wanted to challenge you on our devotional for today. When we read the book of Acts, Paul, his life was radically changed by Jesus. He had an encounter with Jesus and forever had been changed. And at that moment, he had been called to, to preach the gospel, to tell the story of Jesus everywhere he went, to every person he could meet, uh, to the Jews, to the Gentiles, it didn't matter who. And so towards the end of the book of Acts in chapter 23, Jesus told Paul that just as if you're testifying about me in Jerusalem, just like you've done that, you're also going to be in Rome and you're going to testify about me in Rome. Now think of this, Rome at that time was powerful. Uh, so many people feared the empire that it was. Rome was proud. They had a lot of philosophers and philosophies. And so Paul would eventually make his way there. And in the book of Romans, Paul is writing to the believers there, to the church, to encourage them. And he says something very encouraging, but very powerful. And I want to share it with you today. Romans 1.16, a verse that many of you have read before. Paul says this, I am not ashamed of the gospel because it's the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes, first for the Jew and then for the Gentile. What a powerful word that Paul shares. Think of this, at that time when a message had been handed down from Caesar, uh, it would have had the, int the attention of all of Rome. All right, all the Romans would have heard and known about it and there's uh, a powerful message that was given. I think that there's one reason, there's multiple reasons, I think one of the reasons that Paul was not ashamed of the gospel is because of where his message came from. Paul's life had been radically changed by Jesus and he was called to preach that very good news to everyone and everywhere that he had gone. Paul did not need to be ashamed of the message because his message was powerful. Paul did not need to be ashamed of the message because his message had authority. It had come from Jesus. In one of my commentaries that I was reading, Warren Wearsby shares this story. He says, during my years in high school, I was chosen to be an office monitor. The other hall monitors sat at various stations around the building, but I was privileged to sit right outside the door of the main high school office. I was entrusted with important messages that I had to deliver to different teachers and staff members, and on occasion, even to other schools. He says, believe me, it was fun to walk into a classroom and even interrupt a lesson. But he says, no teacher ever scolded him because all of them knew he carried the message from the principal. He said, I never had to be afraid or ashamed because I knew where my messages came from. Before Jesus ascended to heaven, he gave us a commission to go and make disciples. And that involves for us carrying the good news of Jesus Christ everywhere and telling everyone that we can about him. Listen, don't be ashamed because the message that you carry inside of you is powerful. The good news of Jesus is powerful. Don't be ashamed because the good news inside of you has authority because of who it came from. So today, share Jesus with everybody, but share it in truth and in love. Our world needs Jesus. So would you join me in prayer? Father, I thank you for your written word. May it continue to transform our hearts and our minds as we study and we trust in you. Lord Jesus, I pray for our, our world that you would um, show yourself and make yourself known more than ever before, that you would revive hearts that have walked away from you, and that your love would be um, so evident to those that are, are hurting. Lord Jesus, give us um, a confidence that we don't have to be ashamed of the good news of you, and that we could walk with authority because of where the message has come from. May we do it all in love and in truth. Jesus, we love you and we thank you. In your powerful name we pray, amen. New Hope, have a great week. Enjoy the nice weather. I look forward to seeing you this weekend.